think colonics are very beneficial. I think that fasting is very beneficial. Yes. Um, you and I talk about that a lot. Yes. We both, um, LaDonna is also an amazing vegetarian coach. She's a vegetarian. Yes. And you don't do wheat now, right? No. You don't know. Oh, no. You know, a lot of people are allergic to wheat and don't realize right. they're allergic to wheat. You know, so, and I'm one because it shows up in my body. The moment I eat it, I just kind of blow it up. So. Okay. I don't, or sinuses. Right. Know. Right. Yeah. Um, which are also, um, if you're going to change your lifestyle, I always think that it's always good to start with even a light fast, even if it's mm -hmm. just a short one, to end maybe a colonic yeah. to try to get yourself um, to remove some of the things. I mean, they say that in 21 days you can change your eating habits, you can change any eating yes. habits. And so what I did was made it a lot easier for me to go back into being a raw foodist, which I've been before, so that's where I am now. Fabulous. And um, you also do raw. Yes. So LaDonna, sometime down the line, is going to also do a segment uh, preparing raw foods for us. But we're going to get back to colon hydrotherapy now. <laughs> okay, so um, is there anything else about what you do that you'd like to share with us? Things, questions people have asked you or concerns? Um, no, but I just wanted to say, um, just to pick up where we had left off from, um, uh, is that if a person doesn't go to the restroom three times a day and you're eating three times a day, that means you're holding on to material in your system. Right, right. So um, it's so important to get to that space where at least you're eliminating, you know, once a day. Or some people don't go to the bathroom for three or four days. Right, and that means all those toxins are sitting in you and building up. up. It's right. not natural to not go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's not natural. Every you are meant day. to do that. That's right. And that also means that there's something in your diet that you're that you need to address, like most people don't realize, first of all, we, none of us should be drinking milk. I don't care what the milk provider says. <laughs> That's true. Cows, cows drink milk, it comes from a cow. When your mother stops That's breastfeeding right. you, you need to be off the milk. Okay, <laughs> now, but what most people don't realize is that most dairy products create the habit. People that have acne and oily skin. Asthma. If they, asthma, mu milk is a mucus forming food. That's exactly mucus breeds bacteria That's right. and disease, period, totally. in the story. That's and, right. and one thing is, and I will talk about some of my colonics because it's really interesting because you can see what's coming out of you. And I'm fascinated because you, you kind of know what you've been doing. You can see it. Some days you're really, really mucusy. It's not just your stool. It's mucus. Yeah, or mucus. I've seen parasites pass. Um, some days it's all black, but especially when you've been on a series for a long time like I just came off of. I was doing green drinks all day, but by the last two colonics, my colonics were black. They were yes. just, I, I knew I was releasing old, old stuff. stuff. Old stuff. Yeah, old you see that's, that's uh, some of the mucoid plaque, all that stuff right. that starts to come off. Because what happens, um, and you can elaborate on this, because yes. this is actually something I, I didn't, I mean, most people don't know this, I learned it when I went to um, OHI in San Diego, uh -huh. which is as we grow older and we eat, we eat and we eat and we eat. So we were born and our colons, our intestines are nice holes. And as we keep eating and we eat pizza and chicken and all the grease and all the stuff that, think about it, the That's tasty right. stuff, rices, pastas, white our, flour, white flour our colons start doing this and closing and closing and closing. And most of that, it just it's like a pipe when you've had pipes for too long That's right. and stuff just keeps building up, building up mm -hmm. and, and we eventually have really poor elimination, but yes. we also have an extreme buildup of toxins. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you were mentioning the um, the fecal matter that's right that the keeps building up, colon. and that's why people experience like little skinny bowel movements. Right, because that means you are compacted and compacted in there. Right? That's right. <laughs> See, there's a lot going on. So that so to to get healthy or to get a better release going. Colonics can be very uh, beneficial. beneficial. Oh my God, right. it's the best thing that you can do. So, so. let's let's get touchy now. Okay. Um, because women are a little more used to going to the doctor and being investigated, <laughs> but men tend to be shy about these things, which is why most men don't go get uh, prostate exams. So, mm. you know. Uh, colonics are good for men as well. Of course, they eat just like we do. Yes, right? <laughs> so definitely. 
Um, I think men have to get over the fact that it's a sexual thing um, with uh, inserting something to the, the rectum or a gay thing or something like that. It's not. It's about your health. It's about being right, healthy. Right, right. It's about cleansing out that old stuff in the system. Mm -hmm. And not only that, it helps with the libido too. So. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I worked that out. Um, so, and you have a lot of male clients. Oh, I have a lot of male clients. I mean, so yeah. I think that men in general, mm -hmm. um, and that's really an, is important to them because I think that a lot of times men ignore the things, you know, women are much, I think, much quicker to run to the doctor. Yeah. Whereas I men so will have things wrong, don't, maybe not know who to talk to, or maybe they not want to talk about people, it, or they won't talk about it. Yeah. And um, so, yes, men, you can get colonics as well. Don't be, don't be shy. And yes, men have constipation problems too. <laughs> they eat just as bad as everybody. Yeah, else. that's exactly right. right. So it's a, it's a really important thing. Yes. Yeah. Well, very, very cool. Yeah. Well, Adana, this has been <laughs> so much fun. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell the viewers? Um, no, I just want to tell everyone to just eat healthy. Um, just watch things. Stay away from the white stuff because that's the stuff that really clogs you up in your system. Meaning and, uh, white like stuff. White, white flour, uh, your dairy products, your milk, sugar. your cheese, your sugars. Staying away from all that. Read your labels. Read the ingredients and stuff. Just don't buy something because it looks good. Read the ingredients. And um, that will help out so much with just uh, having more bowel movements and also um, drinking more water, increasing the water. At least half of your body weight in ounces is really the ideal in order to um, keep everything flowing and flush really well. So. so at least 64 ounces of water a day for everybody. For everybody. Definitely yeah. so. So. And just clean out and be happy. Right. You're good. You're good. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Stacy. So and we're much. going to um, venture into your uh, colonic room. This is great.